Yes, we are at Intellisys in London, the Artificial Intelligence Conference, and I'm here with another expert. I'm learning so much today. Uh, you. Your name is Anand Ayer. That's correct. Anand welcome, Anand. Yep, welcome. You. And your your research um, it, it involves the work of speech processing, right? Yes, audio and speech processing in general. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And 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 the research you've been discussing today is about speech to text. Yes, I think that's a good topic I'll pick on. Uh -huh. uh, we've been, as, as a company, we do lots of voice products. Uh, we are a communication software company. So we get lots of audio data that we collect. We can do analytics on, uh, we can do speech recognition on. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, uh, one of the fascinating fields we have recently worked on is uh, s text to speech. So text basically, speech. Given, given a sequence of characters, basically in English or yeah. in any other language, mm -hmm. as, uh, if you may say, we should be able to convert it into an audio stream, which a person can play and listen to. All right. Yes. So and what's difficult about that? Uh, it's It's difficult first things because the differentiations in languages. So let's, let's take, for example, in English, you can have read and read. Yeah. How, how would it, you know, it's, it's in written it text, it's exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Whereas in spoken language, it is different. So the mm -hmm. first thing that comes in a picture is how do we uh, take context, how do we take grammar, and all of that int into this audio. How do exactly. we encapsulate all that into a model that can generate audio for any audio, any f uh, text sequence, basically. Okay, so you need to know a lot about every language there is. Absolutely, uh -huh, and see. the second most challenging part I would say is uh, bringing the naturalness. You can get a voice pretty quickly, mm -hmm. but it sounds very robotic. That's mm -hmm. that has been the main problem. Sure. So to bring in the naturalness, that's where most of the research how effort do you do is spent. Well, how do well, you try to do it? Well, the way we try to do it is the first thing is data is the king in our game. Mm -hmm. So basically we ask our artists, the voice artists, to record a lot more, mm -hmm. be consistent in how they actually do their recordings. Uh, and at the same time, uh, we have evolved in technology quite a bit. The way we represent the models have grown and use of deep learning has helped quite a bit in this area. Mm -hmm. So we've adapted deep learning models to <laughs> represent the association of text strings to the audio strings. And that has given us a big boost. Okay. Uh, yep, yeah. that's and, and do you test it to, to find if people experience it yes. as natural? Yes, absolutely. Uh, we do it through uh, a subjective score called, uh, well, actually, it's objective score called uh, mean opinion score. Mm -hmm. So basically, we ask a variety of people from different backgrounds and uh, native speakers to just listen to two, two samples, one natural and one synthetic, and say, which one would you prefer? Yeah. Most likely they would prefer the natural yeah, one. Yeah. So what we end up doing is we try to give them two systems and ask them which one would prefer. Mm -hmm. And we would ask them to give general preferences, give them, hey, how would you rate the naturalness? How mm -hmm. would you rate the speed of this audio? Mm -hmm. And things of that sort. And that's how we evaluate it. Wow. Um, and we pick a voice. <laughs> uh, we go through an iteration even to select uh, an artist. Because some speakers, their voices are actually easily you can model them easily whereas some speakers have a very distinct characteristics which may not be easily modeled as a statistical model all right so you have to have a game there of picking the right artist as well so so yes how how uh, could you handle the emotional state of the listener well that would be another in in our modeling approach we have states underneath so basically mm. each sound is a state so what I can envision an approach would be that you have an emotional state along with it. Mm -hmm. uh, but in reality, I would say it's a hard problem. Yeah. Uh, we can kind of visualize it as have a vision to say we'll build a model with emotions, mm -hmm. but it would end up being another voice uh, per se. Mm -hmm. So it's a very challenging problem to add emotion, identify emotion. Both ways are very, very challenging. Yeah, it is. Yep. So what, what is the, y the challenge you face in the near future in your research? What are you working on now? What do you want to solve? Well, right now, to be honest, uh, having a natural speech is our main problem. <laughs> uh, yeah. And that's it what we've been working years. on. Yes, it could mm -hmm. take years of iterations. Uh, so we've, over the past three to four years, we've actually put out the same voice multiple times. And we tend to, 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 to you know, slowly iterate and build new models. Mm -hmm. uh, naturalness, being able to give our customers the ability to change the voices, like if they wanted to have a slightly higher pitch, slightly lower pitch, uh, or change the speed, 
give them a little bit more customizable yes. options. Yeah. Uh, that's something that we are working on actively. Very interesting. It yep. will change your experience yep. probably. Absolutely. So and, and, and can you tell me something just a little about the institute you work for, Genesis? Yes. Uh, Genesis, uh, if I have to put it broadly, we are omni-channel communication software company. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is uh, we support all kinds of communication channels. Uh, uh, the key about our, you know, the, n the nice thing about our company is we get data from all kinds of sources. Like if you have a Twitter feed, if you have a Facebook you know, uh, post, of course. Uh, SMSs, uh, if a customer is trying to reach us through any of these channels, we are have the ability to augment them, hmm. package them as one entity, one information entity, and use it. Uh, whereas you know you can't, it, it's not separate streams. So a customer can choose to pick up the phone, and then immediately send you an SMS. We would have the connection between right the two. Okay, yeah. so you so so not all these different channels anymore. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It was very interesting to hear you talk. Sorry, thank uh, you very in much. In a very natural voice as well. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> because you're human. Yeah. So thank you so much. Well, awesome. okay. thank you very much. Again. Yeah. That was another interesting field to use artificial intelligence here at Intellisys. Please take a look at the YouTube channel because we're talking to many interesting ex experts there. Bye now.